Finish the game. Tell him. Ball. Ball. We got two minutes left. Don't play with the game. Don't play with the game. Come on. That's an angry veteran who, in his 15 years, has seen a lot of crazy things at the end of games. This is the 101st playoff game of Jeff Green. He's played 15 years with 11 different teams. Not bad for a guy in his fifth year who had open heart surgery. And he wants to play into his 40s. He's 36 now and says he's not ready by any means to think about retirement. And he's been a, a terrific veteran leader for this Nuggets team. But that's an example of leadership, responsibility, accountability, and experience. You don't have to have everybody in a suit and tie or in a sweat outfit doing the talking. you got great veteran leadership, but experience that can hold guys accountable. He's been a great teammate throughout his career. His career high on average, 117 per game. Now playing, obviously, a role off the bench as Murray hits the free throw. And it's not just him, Mike. It's Smith, who I coached in Golden State. DeAndre Jordan, I bet the house right now that DeAndre Jordan knows every call on the Miami Heat offense. I faced this guy in a seven-game series in the playoff. He would call the action out every single trip down the floor. And, and you guys know, as coaches, how important is that to have somebody in the locker room? It gets stale when it's just you doing all the talking. Free throws were good for Murray. Murray, a 30-point game. <laughs> oh, Duncan Robinson knocked out a couple of threes. And it's nine. Well, nearly stolen, Murray. And offensive foul on Murray. And that is going to be flagrant, I, I think. They should certainly take a look at it. And Eric Spolster's bench is telling him to try to get the referees to take a look at it. Clearly, there's contact. Well, the Heat will inbound. And again, Miami, a great team in close games. Out of Biles, jump shot, missed it. Caldwell poked the rebound. That could have cut it to seven. Instead, free throws for Contavious Caldwell Pope. The only starter still out there for the Heat is out of bio. And if that, I'm not sure if it should have been called flagrant or not, but if that was called flagrant, two in the ball, I mean, those just never know. And Denver, again, they're not unlike any other team with a big lead. Everybody slows down, loses intensity, more contacts allowed against your team. Caldwell Pope hitting the free throws, so all they have to do is hit the free throws. I'll tell you, if you're Bam out of body, you wish you had that mid-range jump shot back because Duncan Robinson was wide open at the top of the three at the three-point line. Well, a lot of the fans, again, have left. Remember back in 2013, in game six of the finals, a lot of the fans left before one of the most incredible comebacks in the final minute. And they went on and won the championship. The Ray Allen shot. Fans are trying to get back to the building and couldn't. With 102 remaining, Murray is tripped up. Kyle Lowry took a pretty nasty slip. Here's the play, Jeff. You see at the top of the key, ooh, that could have been a lot worse. Wow. They're exposed to getting Kyle Lowry and his guys out of the game right now. He's hurting. 37-year-old, dealt with knee issues all season. They sat him out. Go get healthy for about five weeks, five or six weeks. When he came back, he's come off the bench, and he has been great leading the bench. Of course, this was the finish, game six of 2013. San Antonio so close to a title that year, Bill Ray Allen knocked down the shot. One of the great clutch shots in NBA Finals history. Of course, Dwayne Wade with so many special moments here in this building. Let's not forget, Dwayne Wade is one of the greats to have ever played. No doubt. No doubt. Checking his text right now. No, he's checking his stats. Like, <laughs> I was good. <laughs> so, 102 remaining. Murray's going to go to the free throw line. He's not in the Hall of Fame yet? 
hasn't been out five years. I think this year is his year going in. Okay. He's got the rings. I'll tell you what, he had the game from rookie year on. How about this? You might have, well, Murray's going to have to get another rebound. Jokic with a 30-20 triple-double. Murray's got 31 points, 10 assists, 9 rebounds. I can't emphasize it enough. Michael Malone extending their minutes and keeping them on the floor and having star players that's willing to sacrifice and play those minutes. And are in good enough shape to play those minutes. Duncan Robinson, not that time. Ball kept alive by Martin. Last touch by Jeff Green. Jokic played 44 minutes. He's on the bench now. Murray has played 44 minutes. Do you think Murray's still in the game with get that rebound that he needs? I hope not. He's the only one on the floor other than Gordon. Duncan Robinson, five to shoot. Trying to find some space. Gets it off. Shot won't go. Rebound deflected. And taken by Aaron Gordon. We hit 35 seconds remaining. And a foul. Nikola Jovic, the rookie, has come in. And look who's coming in. Udonis Haslam. Who's going to retire after this season. After 20 years. All with the Miami Heat. One of the great careers. And they're making him wait till the second shot. I would say this from a common sense standpoint. If Udonis Haslam wants to come in on the first free throw, let him. How about this? One of the players for the Denver Nuggets getting ready to be inserted in the game. Has his t-shirt on. Not aware that he didn't. And he just realized it. So both teams emptying their benches with 29.8 remaining. Haslam comes in. Haslam, a three-time champion, and he was a starter for those championship teams. The oldest player in the NBA at 42. He's always has represented the very best of the NBA. He is heat culture, and his number will be retired in Miami. And I believe he had 25 or so in the last regular season game when he got extended minutes and they celebrated his long career. But he won't be celebrating. He'll be thinking about game four to try and get his teammates fired up to even up the series. As Denver with an emphatic response here tonight. Crowd wants him to shoot. He does. Here's Seba with a rebound. Jovic. Now the Nuggets can dribble it out. And then Murray just got his rebound. So they have two 30-point triple doubles here in game three for the Nuggets. What an answer after the disappointing loss in game two at home. The Denver Nuggets win their fourth straight road game in these playoffs and regain home court advantage. As the Miami Heat have now lost their last.